Welcome back. This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we got a 1965 Mustang. We're getting ready to do a walk around on. Uh, check out maplemotors.com for financing, shipping information, 100 detailed pictures, and all of our inventory. This one here has got to believe to be three, uh, 302 under the hood. <laughs> Got a lot of nice polished up stuff, valve covers, upgraded pulleys. It's like it's got power steering. Front disc brakes, dual exhaust out the back. And we're gonna be looking at all the lower panels, checking the whole car out, looking for any kind of flaws. That way you know exactly what you're buying before you get here. If you hit that subscribe button, you can get daily content. And I want to thank all of y'all who are sharing these videos. It helps us out greatly. All right, starting up here in the front. I can see there is a few chips uh, around the headlight bezel. You see the little chips down there below. Front bumper has definitely been replaced. It's nice and clean. Looks pretty good. The grill's nice and clean as well. Looking down the side of this car, it's pretty good. Decent tires. Coming down this bottom portion, you do have some touch up marks right there on the inside of the door. There's a chip right there as you get in. Some of the uh, stickers are coming off on the bottom there. You got a lot of little chips at the bottom of the door. Looks like a little dimple in the corner here. Coming up over the fender well, looks pretty good, pretty good. A few chips back here, nothing major. Coming down the midsection. It's got a little scratch in the back here. The door handle itself's got some pitting on top of it, nothing major. touch up mark here on the pillar and the emblems look good right here on top you got a little dimple in the uh, by the headlight bezel you also got a chip in the top corner of your door that's been touched up we will shut the hood down towards the end of the video Got a little chip right there behind some of your trim. Bunch of dimples. Most part, it looks pretty good. Right here on top of the trunk, you got some light scratches. A little bit of overspray over here in this area. Nothing major that can't be taken care of. Now I'm getting started on the back here. You can tell the back bumper's been replaced. They probably did the front and back at the same time. Tailpipes do have some pitting on them and this side's missing. It's got the pipe up in there. But it doesn't have the tip. Something to get changed out. The weather stripping looks good, but we got some water down in here. Definitely got some moisture. Let's look up under the mat. Come on. more moisture up under here I am going to set y'all on the fender and I'm gonna pull this mat out hopefully you can see me that's slinging too much usually better than that yeah it's getting cold guys <laughs> I don't want to drop any of this little bit of moisture and water that's in here in the trunk any more than it already is so Pull this thing up, take it out, dump it on the ground. Okay. Get off of there. All right. So you see it does have some moisture. All I did was open the trunk when I got here. We don't, I don't go over the stuff prior because I want you to know everything about the car. If I wipe the water out, then you'll know, or you wouldn't know. 
obviously. Look it up in the package tray, nice and clean. Looks pretty good. Got a little kicker amp in here for the tunes. Get to jamming. And I'll put that back in before we leave. For the most part, it's pretty clean, solid. Let's see how it shuts. It's already shut. A little bit of a gap over here, can be adjusted this way. Back looks pretty good. Let's go down this side. Looking down this side of the car, looks pretty good. Let's go. Good tread on the tires. Lots of chips right here. There's more chips that up here in the front. Got a chip right here. It's like the passenger side's holding all the chips over here. Coming down the mid section. Door handle's in great shape on this side. Mirrors don't look bad either. Do have some dimples and stuff popping up in there. And down the pillar, there's a crack. Let's see if I can get it to pop up. There it is. We also have a chip right here in the center. We've made it all the way around this car. We're gonna go ahead and jump on the interior and check it out. A little bit of peeling up there. That could be fixed. Otherwise, it looks pretty good. You can see a little bit of overspray on that door. Weather stripping looks good. Coming up through the jams. Carpet's in good shape. Bucket seats in this one, aftermarket. They're practically new. Seats do pop up back there. Got some speakers hooked to that kicker amp. Headliner looks pretty good. Go ahead and place your bets. You think the horn works on this one? And it smells like fairly new carpet. <laughs> Looking around the dash, it's in good shape. Aftermarket gauges. Starts up nice and easy. We do have the face of the radio. The blower motor is not working in this for the air or heat. There's no AC. Wipers work good. Horn, you ready? There's no horn. We do have a tilt column. You can see the tack is working. Engine temp has been coming up. Looks good. Amps, can't stand behind the mileage. Speedo does work. Full pressure gauge comes up, and fuel gauge was moving around while we were driving.
Let's look it up under here. We do got an aftermarket hood. Lay that down. See, it is fiberglass. Coming down with it. A little squeaky, but it's locked in place there. It actually looks pretty good. I'm gonna give you some undercarriage shots up here in the front, go all the way around the car. You can check out the test drive video. There's more undercarriage shots and maplemotors.com offers those detailed pictures. They'll show you the whole undercarriage. Let's check it out. Go to maplemotors.com. You can get finance, shipping information, wheels, tires, parts, accessories, all of our inventory, 100 detailed pictures. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Our website's packed up with anything that you would need. If you hit that subscribe button, you can see test drive videos and walk around videos like this daily. There's always new cars. We get 50 to 60 a month now, and uh, we're gonna continue to plan on rolling them out for you. I appreciate y'all watching. I want to thank you for sharing these videos. It helps us out greatly, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Later, guys.